Hey guys, um, today I'm going to take you through a little bit of a crafty project. Um, over the past, I'd say three months, you guys have been DMing me asking me about the pinup boards that are in my office right behind me. I made them myself. I'm pretty proud of them. You guys loving them reaffirmed kind of their beauty, I guess, in the simplicity. And I want to take you through the process so that you can make them for yourself. The first process was going to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store, picking up home soap. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Hold up. Okay, so this is home soap. It's really inexpensive. It's really easy to cut. And the next step was to get some burlap, and you can get this from a fabric store, um, an arts and crafts store. It, the possibilities are endless, it's super inexpensive. But I'm gonna wrap that really taut around the home soap board and then staple it with a staple gun. Then what I'm gonna do is get paint exactly the same color as my wall and paint over the burlap. Essentially, this is going to kind of create this textural moment but it's also going to recede into the wall because it's the same color as the wall. And I decided to do three in a row. I cut them in rectilinear shapes just to give some visual interest to the wall rather than like one big one. The final step that I did was adhering the pinup boards with these brass washer and a brass screw. Again, really inexpensive from a hardware store. They kind of act as like little embellishment or jewelry onto the boards. Two are behind me. I'm going to make the third one together with you guys so that you see the process. So I've laid out my burlap onto this kind of work table. I don't want too much bulky material um, when I wrap it over the edge because then it won't sit flush on the back of the wall. I've just kind of minimized it to maybe four inches. And now I'm going to cut the other edge of the burlap, also about four inches on this side. And I think what I'm going to do first is pull the sides over. I've got my staple gun. and put in my first staple. Now I'm going to move to the other side. Now just like you're wrapping a gift, I'm going to kind of fold in the edges and pull them over. With these areas that get really bulky, just make sure you reinforce with staples right at the bottom. My goodness, my wrists are hurting. That was a lot of elbow grease. Okay. The moment of truth. Let's flip this over and see how it's looking. One thing to think about is once I put the wet paint over it, it's actually gonna help the burlap adhere to the home soap. So that will also hopefully tighten up any kind of loose spots, but I think I did pretty good, guys. So I have myself a foam roller, a paint pan, and the paint that's the same color as my wall, and I'm just gonna get going. I know you guys will likely ask, the color on my walls is called Great White uh, by Farrow and Ball, and it's this um, very subtle pink hue. It, it reads a little bit like white, but in certain light it comes off as pink. Okay, so my pinup boards are now painted and they have dried. And at this point, I'm gonna basically measure out exactly where I want the six grommets and the six screws to be. So from the top, I measured an inch and a half down and about an inch and a half over. I'm gonna halfway put the screw into the home soap board or the pinup board. This way, once I put it up on the wall, all of the markers are in their precise places. Our measuring tape and again an inch and a half down and an inch and a half over. 
Okay, so the one thing that I would say is when you're putting it up on the wall, to definitely ask for assistance, have somebody hold the panel and then have a level across the top to make sure that it's straight and also measure so that it's equal distance away from the one that's already up. I already screwed into the top two and now I'm gonna screw in the other four. Okay guys, we did it. I think you can do it at home as well. And if you do, make sure that you tag iSmoon or hashtag iSmoon because I wanna see how your projects come together. Um, if I can do this, you guys can do it. <laughs>